In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. كل سنة وحضراتكم طيبين النهاردة حد المولود أعمى أو معروف بحد التناصير. It is the Sunday of the man that was born blind. Uh, we, we find in this uh, gospel that the disciple asking Jesus Christ, who sinned? Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents? Uh, the, uh, first of all, how can you, someone is born blind to, to sin if he's just born blind, so he didn't even have time to sin? And that was uh, some of the Jews and even some of the nations until now believe of uh, reincarnation. So someone, they believe that we lived a previous life and based, based on how we behaved in this previous life, now we are uh, reaping the consequences, which is not true, and the church doesn't believe in that. So, this is, uh, so that's why they were asking him how come he is, uh, his, he, so he, they think that when he had a bad life, that's why he was born blind or, uh, or he lived in sin. Uh, you find that uh, the reading this week, as you know, the, when we talk about the Sunday, from Monday, the previous Monday until today, all the readings prepare us to this Sunday. And you find, um, so the concept that's in the Jews in their head is, it must be, if you have something hap bad happen to you, that must be because of your sin. And this is not true. You find that in the last Monday, which is the first, the beginning of this week, you find the same thing that the Jews asking Jesus Christ about the Galileans that um, Pilate slaughtered them with their sacrifices, and they were asking him, uh, they say, some who told him about the Galileans whose blood had mingled with the blood mingled with their sacrifices, and Jesus answered and said to them, do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than all others Galileans because they suffered such thing? I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. The, and then the, Jesus did not even answer their question, and he gave them even another incident or accident. He told them there was also the tower that fell on 18 people and killed them. And he told them the same, the same concept. Do you think those people were more sinners? And you find that the first incident was a man-made, like, you know, a Pilate that he slaughtered those Galileans. And the second one, if we, we use the expression of act of God, it was the tower fell on them, so it was not a man-made. And in both cases, uh, Jesus did not, he gave them the second example and did not even answer the first one. And, and this is a problem we always live with, which is the suffering and, and death, and that cannot be explained. But you find that uh, Jesus, uh, the way he answered this is more or less, be ready and you have to repent, otherwise you could be like them. They, they were coming asking uh, Jesus Christ, and we don't know why they were asking this question. Probably they were thinking he's an earthly king coming to save them, and they're complaining about uh, how the, you know, Pilate and dealing with them. Um, and uh, we, we have to take up our mind that anything that bad happened to us, it's because of our sins or uh, God is angry with us. Uh, God is not like that. And uh, Jesus Christ himself uh, went through uh, suffering and crucifixion, and uh, we cannot say this was like, you know, a punishment for him. Uh, so, as I said, we have to trust that we, we are in God's hand, and he is a lover of mankind, and he's a maker of all good things. And uh, anything that bad happened to us, we have to look for the good uh, in it. Sometimes it's not clear in the beginning, but we have to trust that, uh, you know, St. Paul is saying, كل الأشياء تعمل معن للخير للذين يحبون الله. And we know that all things work together for good for, to those who love God. So we have to understand that this, uh, you know, natural disasters that happen and uh, to nations is not because of their sin. We cannot be quick to judge something like this. But if any, we just to take, uh, you know, uh, example or uh, learn from it that we, nobody's immune and it's, uh, it's uh, God's blessing that keep us safe from all the prayers that we pray all the time. Uh, so we shouldn't judge anyone that anything bad happened to that person, that it's because of his sins. Um, and that's why the Lord twice was saying them, in, in لم تتوبوا فجميعكم كذلك تحلكون, if you, but unless you repent, you will likewise perish. 
So God sometimes allows us trials um, and because it's beneficial for us, but he is not, God is not, uh, you know, tempted by evil and does not tempt anyone. Uh, in, in, uh, in the liturgy, we say, أنا اختطفت في القدس الغوري بيقول أنا اختطفت لي قضية الموت. فطبعا بسبب أن الموت دخل العالم بالتالي بيحصل حاجات كثيرة مش كويسة في حياتنا ودي سببها من الخطية الأصلية. ولكن مع ذلك في نفس القداس احنا بنستغل يعني يعني بنفتكر على طول انه بنقول حولت لي العقوبة خلاص يعني حتى لو حاجه وحشه حصلت ربنا استخدمها وده الفكر اللي دايما يبقى عندنا ان كل الاشياء تعمل معا للخير للذين يحبون الله لو رجعنا تاني للمعجزه طبعا المعجزه دي من من اعظم المعجزات اللي حصلت في في وقت السيد المسيح واللي هو عملها على الارض لانه اي معجزه حصلت قبل كده كانت um, يعني was no creation in it. دي كان الإنسان الأعمى ده ملوش العين من أساسه وهو خلقها فدي كان دليل على ألوهية المسيح عشان كده حتى نلاحظ أن لما وقت ما ما لعذر مات اليهود وقفوا وقالوا ألم يقدر هذا الذي فتح عيني الأعمى أن يجعل هذا أيضا لا يموت يعني بيعتبروا العمل اللي فتح عيني الأعمى ده اللي خلق له عينين ما يقدرش يقوم واحد من الموت بالنسبة لهم إن واحد يقوم الموت كان أسهل بكتير من من إن هو واحد يعني يتخلق له عينين لأن الموت مثلا لعازر جسده كان لسه موجود روحه راحت الجحيم فمجرد الروح ترجع للجسد دي المعجزة طبعا حاجة كبيرة طبعا بس مش زي عملية الخلق نفسها. Um, we find also that uh, uh, that Jesus was able to create in the same way he created uh, you know man which is from clay. Um, but uh, the Jews did not like this miracle because if they confess this miracle, it means Jesus Christ is God because it's proven. And this way they can lose their positions, they lose their authority, and everybody will follow Jesus and they will not follow them as, uh, anymore. And in this case, we see who is blind. Is it the man that was blind or the Jews that they can see a great miracle like this that even themselves later on they said if he you know if he was able to create this eyes how come he cannot uh, raise Lazarus so they were blind and this is what we should learn it is not a story about a blind man in the Bible that we read it on Sunday it's about all of us that we have to learn from it if I'm still living in, in darkness um, and uh, and if I still I don't see God's love for me and all what he did in my life and all what I see is the half glass empty and the things that I ask God for it, that's even probably not good for me. And he didn't give it to me. I'm still blind that I can't see the God's goodness. I can't see even God's discipline for me. Sometimes he worry about my, which sometimes all the time he worry about my salvation. And he allows sometimes trials in, in my life in order to, be, uh, to learn from it and save me. Because that's his main goal. And uh, the, the baptism, and uh, why today is, uh, يعني it's the baptism or the tanasir, because obviously, the buhira of the Silwam, and the buhira of the Silwam, the Muslim of the Arad, the Akidlina, and the Targamet, the Muslim of Mursal, or Sint, and the Muslim of المسيح عشان كده الكنيسة بتعتبر إن المعمودية دي بحيرة سلوام دي هي بالضبط زي جورن المعمودية اللي عندنا يعني في المعمودية بيحصل فيها استنارة يعني مش مجرد إن أنا واحد اتولد تممنا طقس حلو بقى كده يعني علامة إن هو بقى واحد يعني مسيحي في وسطينا ولكن بيحصل تغيير كامل للبيبي uh, maybe some people can see it, maybe some people they don't. ودي شفتها بنفسي كان طفل اتعمد وبعد كده شافوه ناس بعد كده وما كانوش يعرفوا انهم اتعمدوا وقالوا الولد ده وشه منور خالص وكان يوم المعموديه بتاعته يعني. فيمكن ربنا يسمح لبعض الناس يشوفوه كده والبعض الثاني لا. عشان كده احنا بنقول بنورك يا رب نعين النور فاحنا مش هنقدر نشوف ده غير لو بنشوف ال يبقى المعموديه هنا ذا 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 بابتزم كان تشينج ماي بيهيفير ات كان تشينج ذا واي اي لوك تو ماي سيلف ذا واي اي لوك تو اذرز اند اي بيكم ماي ايز ويل بي اوبن تو سي جودز جودنس ان ماي لايف از سان بول از سينج ذير فور اف اني وان از ان كرايس هي از ا نيو كرييشن سو وي هاف تو ليف ذيس نيو كرييشن 
Um, as for the, as we talked about the Lake of Siloam, uh, when Jesus Christ created the clay, the same way He created uh, uh, He created us, He told the the blind, the born blind. Jesus made clay and anointed the eyes of the blind man with clay, and He said, "Go wash in the pool of Siloam." Uh, so this is He was a good man. He was um, He was listened to what uh, God told him. Uh, sometimes we sometimes we don't like God's solutions. They're not the way we like it. It's sometimes often, it, uh, you know, it's often it's strange and it doesn't make sense. But he, in his mind, I'm sure he, you know, he washed in this, uh, you know, lake before. But if God told him, go and do this, he, he goes and that's where he see the result in his life. And often by obedience, we can see that. Uh, but if we're still looking to solve pro our problems the way we see it, not the way God see it, that will not uh, will get us the result we want. And this man did not participate in judging Christ because when the Jews told him, say that he is a sinful man about Christ, he refused. So he really, after his eyes was open, he became a great theologian. And uh, he told them the story more than once. He is almost like was preaching. And uh, even at the end, he was telling, do you want to hear it again? Do you also want to become his disciple? So in the beginning, when they asked him, who opened your eyes? He was saying that he is uh, a man called Jesus. And then they asked him again, and he said, uh, I see that he is a prophet. And then they asked him again, or God asked him again, Atu'min ibn Allah. And he said, Oumin ya Sayyid, bukharra lahu wa sagad lahu ya. Uh, so sometimes in, uh, in the trials that he was going through, and obviously we also go through so many trials th that God make it for our benefits. And uh, you, you see in the book of Job, in the last chapter, chapter 42, that he when uh, uh, the conclusion with his job experience with uh, uh, Job was, uh, went through very difficult trials, not anyone else can stand it. Uh, then he said something, I have heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eyes see you. And بسمع الأذن قد سمعت عنك والآن رأيتك رأيتك عيني. فهنا يعني أنا واحد يكلمني على ربنا زي ما هو عايز. أنا زي ما أتكلم كده دلوقتي. Unless you have your own experience with God, then you will never see God. So this is something you have to, uh, and the same happened with the born and blind when he said, I was blind and now I see. So we need to have this personal experience in our life in order not to be blind and, uh, and, and we can see the light. ربنا يفتح عيون قلوبنا وزهنا حتى نرى محبته الكبيرة لنا ويخلصنا كل سنة وانطيبين تهم بي the glory forever.